My name is Gregory and I am an exhibit artist at Answers in Genesis. I was interested in art and history both, spent lots of time doing it. I was homeschooled. That gave me time to just engage in things that interest me. I built models, model airplanes, model ships. When I was in my early teens, I picked up some illustration commissions from people. And then when I got older, I started painting landscapes and working with oils and things like that. One of my paintings came to the attention of my current supervisor. He invited me and my brother Ben down for a tour of the art department at the Creation Museum. And that's when I met Travis. Travis approached me about building dioramas and so I applied for the position and here I am. We start with designing and a lot of historical research into ancient societies. We don't have anything except the Bible telling us what the pre-flood world was, so we have to go back to what was after that, what was after the flood. And so we research those societies, the technology that they had, things that they could do, their religious practices and things like that. And then we design the dioramas to give us the best layout that we can get visually. And then we go to the fabrication part where we fabricate it, put it all together, make it out of foam. Then there's the sculptors who are digitally sculpting the figures and things that will go in the dioramas. And so once that's done, then it will come to me and we'll be painting those figures and the dioramas and finishing off with lighting and then installing it. The same with some of the, the larger pieces for the diorama. We can use digital sculpting and techniques and then have them cut out on a CNC machine and then assemble those parts and then go over top of that with all of our textures and and sculpt over that and whatever we need to do. One of the dioramas that we worked on was the Tower of Babel. It was showing the, the tower being constructed. It has lots of little figures on it and they're all custom made. Our sculptor sculpted them digitally again and 3D printed them. And so there was about close to a thousand people and probably about 300 animals or so. And I ended up painting all those by hand. That took me a while. Uh, it was, I enjoyed it. After a while, I was dreaming about little people. The diorama turned out spectacular. We 3D printed some of the buildings that went with it, including the tower itself, and then put all sorts of texture on it to make it look real, and then painted it. The Tower of Babel is significant because all nations scattered from there. In scripture it says that they're scattered because God confused their language. And so we have all languages came from there, but then all cultures around the world have come from there. They all tie back to, to that event. Architecture, language, different artistic designs, skin color, it all ties into the Tower of Babel where they were one people united and then God scattered them. It turned out really well. I was impressed with it and that, for an artist that's rare, to be impressed with something that you did. <laughs> the stuff that I'm working on is just a small part and so to see that all come together as one story, that is going to be amazing to me, to see what others have created and see what God has done through their handiwork. We have a talented team here.